What is up with it, fam? It's your boy Trey and your girl Baby. Baby. And then you got your girl Evie right there. She watching Scooby Doo, but don't mind her. And it is 1048. And we are up. We are up. Of course we're up. I mean, we don't go to bed till like three or four in the morning. We stay up doing work for you guys. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. But uh anyway, today we are cutting out orders. And getting orders prepared. Everly singing Princess and the Frog. And okay, we lit. So we're going to kind of walk you guys through the process of like how we do things. Mm. Um, because some of our orders go to a seamstress and some of the orders stay here with us. Right, right. And so right now I'm working on orders that stay here. And then we're going to transition into the orders that go to our seamstress. But I'm going to show you the process. Okay. Real quick. Y'all see my planets? Oh. <laughs> show people that. I'm sorry. All right, so what I do, you can show them this. Okay, Give them okay. An idea here. All okay. right. So what I do is I'll sit at my computer, I'll pick a day, and then I will go over the week's orders. We like to go over them a week at a time. Right. And then um, print out a list. I print out the packing slips here, and it just includes all the good information. This is what like stuff it includes here. Yeah. So it includes the what the item is and the size it is. Mm -hmm. And then I'll include any pertinent information that wasn't on there. Did and you say impertinent? Pertinent. Oh, pertinent. Okay. <laughs> Is that okay. how you say it? I don't know. I thought she was trying to say important. <laughs> pertinent information, you know. Impertinent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So I'll compile a list of all the orders for the week, and then I will divide it up into certain fabrics. Oh. And then I will, underneath the fabric, I will list all the sizes and styles that need to be done in that fabric. So currently, I'm working on bubble rompers. Nice. So... I've got all except for the bottom here of the 2T Marigold Sky Romper. So then I have 6 months, 18 months, 2T, 3T, because those are the sizes that were ordered from the most of this drop. Right. And so I will just stack all the 18 months of all fabric types bubble rompers here. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just go through and I'll pick all the 6 months, which it'll be, once I'm done, it'll be a higher stack, of course, than all of this. Right. And so then I'll go through and I'll just pick up the whole stack and I know that everything in here goes together and they're all six or 18 month rompers. So this is two 18 month rompers right here. Y'all getting this? This is gold. Yes. And then we'll just tag them and I know to write them. Marigold. <laughs> <laughs> he was proud of that. <laughs> I was, even you laughed. Um, then I'll set the packing slips out on the table and then we will, um, once they're sewn up, we will put the orders where they need to go per size and per style. Cool. So super simple, really good way to stay organized and to like pace yourself as a shop owner. Most definitely. Yeah, because otherwise I'm just looking at it and going one order at a time and then somebody's is eventually gonna be behind. Hey, pace yourself. Yeah. Everybody out there, if you are a scatterbrain and you got a lot going on, make sure you take a deep breath and pace yourself. Why am I slow? It don't matter. But uh <laughs> moving on. We pacing this way. Let's do it. What size we cutting out you see? Two T. Two T. And that is for what? A bubble romper. For a bubble romper. I got one more two T in this fabric and then we're done with the fabric, which is cool. That is cool. And I do I consider I probably How many do you remember how many we had in it? Ooh, I don't even know, but we have a lot more. Man. I, I under Underdid the inventory on this one. I typically do the inventory because I know about the fabric or whatever. Right, right. And I always try to underdo it so that we'll have leftovers just in case. This one was definitely an underdid one because I have all of this fabric still here. Hey, man. And this is the last one that I need to cut that was ordered and that we marked it as sold out. So this one will actually be stopped. Hey, comment down below if y'all know any ideas that we can make with this fabric. We got, we, we're about doll. bubble rumpered out. Doll. Doll clothes? You talking about Clarabelle? Clarabelle. Y'all want to see Clarabelle? Clarabelle needs underwear. I'm a hider. She I'm a hider. This is Clarabelle. <laughs> this is Clarabelle, you guys. This is our mini cane doll right here. And uh, she's new to the family. She smells good. Yeah, she smells like vanilla. Like for real. It's kind of weird like that chocolate. she smells like vanilla. But she looked like chocolate. Ooh, she's from Kenya. I don't know that for real, but she do smell good. 
But yeah, this is Clarabelle right now. I got my hand over her because she ain't got no bottoms on. She is no butt booty naked under there. And uh, I don't want to expose her because she got all the parts that a girl has. Literally. Dog. It's a mini cane dog. Which, where did it come from? They're manufactured in Spain. In and Spain. we buy them from France. And we bought it from France. Yeah. And right now, Clarabelle ain't got no underpants. <laughs> For real. Like, she, if I turned the phone I over. I see London. I see friends. I see Clarabelle. No underpants. She doing the booty dance. No, I'm, I'm, just, playing. I'm just playing. That's weird. Trey, come on. Bro. I know. <laughs> but anyway, that's Clarabelle. And she's our doll model that we have right now. We only got one for right now, but we're soon going to start selling them. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. We're gonna do a giveaway too. And we're going to do a giveaway. Well, I need to cover Clarabelle up because they can see her in the in the background. You know what I mean? Girl, you better cover yourself up, girl. Back to the cutting. So, which piece is this? This is the front of the bubble romper here. Front of the bubble romper. Yeah, and I just like to make clean cuts, so I always cut like a rectangle. It is kind of wasteful, but we ordered enough fabric to do that oh, okay cool <laughs> sounds good i'm the money man when it comes to fabric she she usually just the one that picks out the fabric and and do all that stuff you know what i mean i'm the one that's like okay we can buy that i can see that i can see that doing <laughs> no, good you do, you do i mean yeah I, I mean i have i i have a particular taste the style you For know sure. what i'm saying Most, you know designer yeah, you know designer style all of that I got you, you know what I'm saying? I can do all that, but yeah, the seamstress work, she the, she the mastermind behind that. Us, and thank, so thankful for our, our new seamstress. We were able to yes, so yes, thankful. oh my goodness. That she is. Does, she does about half of our workload. Most it definitely. Definitely. She is, well, she's a keeper. Yes. Most definitely a keeper. We have all of our marigold skies cut out. Here. All right. So, Everything we're on the table. Move on to neon um, tada. Tada. Hey guys, by the way, we made our own kitchen table. Yes, we did. Fun fact: we started as a furniture company, making all wood furniture, like tables like this, uh, kitchen tables, coffee tables, bed frames, our, our all light. that stuff. We even made that. Our little orb, orbit light thing. Stuff like that we did, you know what I mean? We still do a little side work in the furniture business, but uh, we're mainly clothes. Now, the clothing side has taken over, clearly. Let me go over here to this. And now, this is the fun list. Yeah, this is my list that I made. You so, uh, checking it twice? Pretty much. Trying to find out who not it. You're silly. Okay, so we got the Marigold Skies done. So I'm gonna move on to Neon Tada. And it shows right here that we need, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it. I like to just, I'm a color person. <laughs> Me too. I like the <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. All right, he went there. I did, okay, so sorry. Color person, color. Yeah, color. Not with the knee D at the end. No. Or, 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 yeah, ED. Is right? We're going to get off that subject. All right, yeah, moving yeah. on. All right, so we need a six month, a 3T, and I have this list over here so that I'm not getting behind. Typically, I would just do this list, which is one week. This week, this one is another week. This one's the most recent week. Oh, they're not looking at this. This is the most recent week. Yeah. This is the late, the like the. The late list. The, the late list. The late the list. Late list. This yeah. was that one. So this one needs to be. You see which one bigger, right? This one needs to get done first, <laughs> but they, they're all some of the stuff's marked out. So like, it's not it's not like late late. Sometimes we call stuff late even though it's not late. No, it's just the because later it's list. right. It's, this list was right. done most like this was the most recent list of Boom. drops. Yeah, right. This one's the stuff that needs to be done first. Pronto. So what I'm saying is, I have two neon tie dyes bubble rompers to do here. One six month, one three T, mm -hmm. and then of our new stuff that we've gotten, I have two eighteen months neon rompers that I need to do. So four total, one six month, two 18 months, and one three team. Right. And neon tie-dye. So I'm about right. to cut all those out. Hey y'all, say what's up to Cuddy. What's up Cuddy, 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 Cudd
going back. Life that color. What is that? It's neon tie-dye. Neon tie-dye like a rainbow tie-dye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Evie like, hello. Anybody out there? She does that at Robert's. Anybody out there? No. You sleepy? Uh, no. I don't think so. Uh -huh. Cuddy, what you doing? Our schedule's a little bit different. Cuddy, Cuddy like a dog for real. He was raised with Titus. Like literally, they was raised together. And Titus is so much bigger. He like a massive dog compared to the cat. And uh, yeah. Six months. I want to do six months. Keep on thinking. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. After these messages. Anyway, back to y'all. So what are we about to cut with this? A 3T romper. A 3T romper. We just went up a size, y'all. And changed the tune. Y'all like this? Comment down below if you like this. I, I really like this. I want to make a shirt. These are our pattern collections, y'all. We we it's not all of them. We got a whole library of uh patterns, so we pattern down. And we keep it over over yonder in that white thing right there. If you want to learn how to make this romper, go check out our hack video. This is one of the hack videos we have up for everyone to see. So. Hey, go to our business page right now, Recapture Values YouTube channel, our business channel, and go check out the hack video. If you want to learn how to make this, this romper we're talking about, we have a tutorial for you. Most of you guys is coming from our business channel, y'all already know anyway, so we're speaking to the newbies. What's up, newbies? And what's up, fam? I ain't say what's up to the fam yet. Right here, right here. What? I'm trying to hold you, Daddy. You want to hold me? Yeah. That's going to be a lot okay. of work, Evie. Let's, let's pick me up. You got to pick me up. Okay. Pick me up. No, you're too big. <laughs> I'm glad she doesn't know me that. <laughs> Well, I hope big. You got me, guys. So one of the best parts about this neon tada, or really any tada for that matter, is that no romper is really the same because of how the tada is placed on the fabric. Right. So these are really my favorite because you can really get a new romper every single time you yeah. cut it. That's why I like tada too. It's very unique. Every cut is unique. Good tada. Yeah, that's tada right there. <laughs> Not a kuna matata. Tada. You want some Akuna Matata? Yeah. <laughs> I want to I want some Akuna Matata. You want to? All right, sing it. Okay. Okay. Baby, cut. Cut, baby, cut. Come on, come on, cut. Baby, cut. Yeah, cut Don't cut your finger. Because I'm going to give you a Band-Aid. A Trolls Band-Aid. A Trolls Band-Aid. And we legit have Trolls Band-Aids over here somewhere. They right there hiding like Joe Biden. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> they right there hiding like Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. <laughs> he not hiding, though. Nah, he is most definitely in the open. Nah. Comment down below. Tell us how you like the Teacher Tuesday video we put out. It was the bell sleeve, the hibiscus with the bell sleeves off the shoulder design uh, pattern off the shoulder pattern so tell us how you like that video comment down below and uh make sure you get this video a like a thumbs up and hey subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet you know we're gonna keep the ball rolling that's the back mm -hmm. okay this is the front of this romper okay how different it is than the other i like one. it they're so cool so like you can get a different romper every time i like that you know Comment down below how you guys cut out y'all's patterns and what type of fabric that y'all use on y'all's patterns. You know what I mean? Whatever you like to make. You know, comment down below what you like to make. You know what I mean? Let's start with that first. Because we got so many patterns. We got a whole bunch of... Y'all haven't even seen our fabric closet yet, I don't or think. Or our pattern thing over or there. Or our pattern uh, box over there. It's like a library of patterns man you know what i mean we went to ikea of course if you look at it it has ikea all over it we love that place by the way but anyway can't wait to go back 
All right, guys, it is the next day, and man, it was a lot. Last night, we had a lot to cut out, and uh, we got all of the bubble rumpers done. Here they are right here, the 16 bubble rumpers. We got them all cut out and getting ready to start sewing. And now what we're working on is the, the cutouts for the, the seamstress that we have to ship to her today express you know what i mean because we want to get everything shipped out and gone to her before we go on our vacation that way it'll be back by the time we get back so yeah right now we're cutting out the stuff for the seamstress and uh again same process same process you know I nothing's changed sizes, i'm sticking with this one fabric here it's a mustard paisley fabric from knit pop mm -hmm. working on that and just cutting out the bell bottoms and all the sizes in this fabric. Right. That's life so. with us, you know, we we take our time, you know, be patient, cut everything out right, get it all organized and ready to ship out. And yeah, that's pretty much the process. But And this is the other list of orders that we have right here. That's what's going to the seamstress. This is all going to the seamstress, so we're sending out that work for her. So yeah, that's what you can expect. On this channel, we're showing you guys how we do business, how we do family. So, join the family. Make sure you subscribe. Leave us a like on the video. Comment down below. Tell us how you get ready for your drops or how you get your orders and stuff together and how you cut out stuff. This is how we do it. We've been doing it this way since we got a seamstress. And hey, comment down below if you have a seamstress working for you or um, if it's just you doing it all by yourself because we've been there before and trust me, it is work. We know we, we will not belittle it at all. Yeah, we did it for years with, uh, by ourselves. And it is a breath of fresh air in the seamstress. It okay. is, man. Having a seamstress, it helps so much and we are truly thankful. But yeah, like I said, join the family. We have more videos coming your way. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Say bye, Evie. Bye. <laughs>